Hello. In this episode, we are going to mention multiprocessing from scratch in Python. You can imagine that a bucket of water will be drunk. If you are the only one who is going to drink, this will last very long. On the other hand, if there are 10 people, this could last much less than the first case. So we can speed processes up with multiprocessing. I'm going to create a function named find multiplication and this function expects two inputs x and y and it's going to calculate the multiplication of x and y and the main duty of this function is printing the multiplication. I'm going to call this function for multiple number pairs. I'm going to build a for loop here for i in range from 0 to number of iterations that's going to be for example 100 and here x is equal to let's assign a random number here that's why I'm going to import random library here and x is equal to random dot random integer and uh, it's going to be between 1 and 100 for example similarly I'm going to set the uh, y variable as randomly same procedure will be applied to the y variable and here I'm going to call find multiplication function and pass x and y pair here this is going to print the multiplication of x and y values by the way, we could print x and y variables here. x times y is equal to x times y. I'm going to call this commons.py. And as seen, these are the multiplications of x and y pairs. Herein, Finding the multiplication process is handled serially. Alternatively, we can apply multiprocessing and speed the process up. I'm not going to call find multiplication function here. Instead of this, before the for loop, I'm going to create a list. This is in type of Python list. And here I'm going to append the x and y pair to the my list and import multiprocessing and also under the multiprocessing import pool after the for loop in other words my list variable is ready i'm going to call with pool and here i'm going to assign the number of threads let's say three as pool and here pool dot star map and I'm going to pass the name of the function I'm going to call and pass my list here this is ready I can call python commons.py as seen it throws exception and uh, it says you should put the check for the uh, name of the, the object it should be main you can see this error just in windows operating system finding the workaround is easy here we are going to check the name of the, the object if name is equal to main then call this pooling process now we can call python.commons as seen multiplications handled but this time it's not serially to understand the uh, multiprocessing deeply we should uh, monitor the process id and parent process id to do it i'm going to call operating system and here print the process id 
it's going to be operating system dot get process id and also i'm going to print the parent process id it's going to come from the operating system dot get parent process id call commands dot pi again and estin process ids are different for different multiplications for example this is the uh, process id of the first one and this is the other one and as seen these are different as i mentioned this if block must be checked in windows operating systems you might need to call uh, this find multiplication function in a different python file For example, let's create main.py and move this block to the main.py. But I also need to copy the import lines. Also, it doesn't recognize the find multiplication here. That's why I'm going to import commons and this is going to be commons dot find multiplication let's call main dot pi here multiplications are handled with multiprocessing library and we also put the uh, name of the object control here here three processes are handled in same time it's going to be set parametrically number of CPUs and I can check this multiprocessing dot CPU count and let's print number of CPUs here let's see the first line number of CPUs is 4 and in this way four different processes will be handled in the same time as seen i just print the number of cpus here in a single line but it prints four different lines that's because of i didn't put this printing line here in the uh, name of the object control Estin, it prints number of CPU counts just once. So, we have mentioned how to apply multiprocessing in Python. Thank you all for watching and see you next time.